Hello again, it's Dr. Helen Jaffer. Uh, back into basics, uh, I'll try to present uh, a series of lectures throughout my lecture in periodontology regarding the basics uh, of the terms, which I name it the glossary of periodontology. So this will be like a dictionary introducing you to the terms because any conditions, any diseases, any forms of treatment and so in order to understand it, you should know the actual meaning of the terms. And uh, I just try to make it an, as an alphabet and then the subdivision of these uh, letters. For example, I, I'll start with the A's, then the subdivisions of A's, A, B, A, C, A, till, till the most important terms are covered. Please subscribe to my channel. HL challenge to get more videos. We are starting with the A letter today, part one. We are discussing the AA, AB till the AL. In the AA, we have just uh, selected one term, which is the AAP, which is an abbreviation of American Academy of Periodontology, a great academy dealing with the periodontal science. And this is one of the most trusted academy regarding the information uh, of periodontal science. We have AB. In the AB we have the term apparent. What's the apparent? It's, it's a deviation from the usual or normal course, form or location. For example, we have deviation of location in the case of high frenal attachment here. So this position should be here and on the mucosa but now it is on the papilla. So this deviation is apparent. We name this condition apparent frenum. The second term is abfraction. The abfraction is the mechanical tooth wear due to occlusal forces. And the only difference between this and the abrasion is that the abrasion is associated with the gingival recession and the root surface and dentin, but this is associated with the tooth surface or enamel. So this is the abfraction. What is the abl ablation? The ablation is the separation or deattachment or eradication. For example, in the melanin pigmentation removal with the laser, we eradicate the melanin pigmentation. And by that we bleach the area or make it more pink than black. So any process of separation, deattachment or eradication by any form of, we, we just here mentioned a laser, but by any forms of a treatment modalities or conditions, we name it ablation. Abrasion, as uh, we talked about, a, a, a fraction, uh, a few seconds later, uh, previously. So, a fraction abrasion includes the tooth surface, the root surface, and the dentin. <clears throat> and this is not just due to the occlusal forces. Most of the causes of abrasion is due to mechanical process, abnormal mechanical process, other than mastication. And it's, uh, it's just like a saucer shape wedge. And uh, it's most commonly seen on the enamel root surface and the dentin. We have abscesses. The definition of abscess is the localized collection of pus in a cavity formed by disintegration of the tooth, of the tissues. And we have many types of abscesses. We have acute abscesses. The acute abscess is those, those abscesses of short duration and typically producing pain and local inflammation. We have in the acute the subdivision acute periapical abscess or acute apical abscess. And this is the inflammatory reaction of pulpal infection and necrosis characterized by a rapid onset, spontaneous pain, 
and tenderness to percussion, pus formation, and eventual swelling of associated tissue. Like you see it here, this is acute apical abscess. We have chronic abscess. All of the chronic abscesses are of slow development, little evidence of inflammation, and there may be an intermittent discharge of pus. And as general, it is a long standing collection of virulent exudates. Also, we have chronic periradicular abscess or chronic periapical abscess, which is just like an acute one but of slow onset and intermittent pus or discharge uh, or sinus tract formation. We have periodontal abscess, which is an inflammatory reaction originating from the periodontium. The tooth is vital here in the periodontal abscess, usually characterized by a rapid onset spontaneous pain, tenderness to percussion, and pus formation and swelling. Almost always, most of the times, caused by foreign bodies and often associated with the vital pulp, as we talked about. We have pulpal abscess, which is a localized collection of pus initiated by microorganisms throughout the caries process, for example. And uh, the tooth here is non vital. We have the term active eruption. This is a process whereby the tooth is bodily moving through the jaw. It's a normal eruptive er eruption process when it comes out to its functional position in the oral cavity. While activation, the term activation, meaning the moving of instrument in order to produce a stroke, when you put an instrument on the tooth surface, this is the instrument adaptation. While, while moving this instrument, either vertically or horizontally or obliquely, this is the activation, moving of instrument toward action. We have the term adaptation. The adaptation is the placing of one to two millimeter of the active end of the instrument on the tooth surface. So using each lateral side of the instrument, one to two millimeter to activate the instrument. The process of placing the instrument on the tooth surface is meaning the adaptation, which we have it in the process of instrumentation. We have adaptation, we have angulation, we have activation. So this is adaptation, adapting the instrument one to two millim of the lateral surface uh, of the instrument in contact with the tooth surface. We have a fibrillar cementum. This is that part of cementum which devoid from type 1 collagen fiber. This is a fibrillar symptom. We have alveolar bone. The alveolar bone is the bone of the alveolar process. This bone is named the alveolar bone. We have alveolar bone proper. The alveolar bone proper here, it's the thin cribriform plate that lines, it lines the alveolar bone or the alveoli. This is the alveoli. This is that thin line of bone that lines the alveolar bone. Alveolar crest is the most coronal portion of the alveolar process. While alveolar mucosa is that part, is the non keratinized part that covers the alveolar process and it consists of non-keratinized epithelium 
uh, and uh, this is separated from the attached gingiva through a mucogingival line. This is the alveolar mucosa. What is the alveolar process? Is that part of the jawbone that houses the alveoli and the root of the teeth. This is the alveolar process. Well, the term alveoloplasty it's a surgical procedure used to recontour the abnormalities in the jawbone and the supporting structure to be prepared for, for example, partial or complete denture or any reconstructive procedure that needs a well contoured alveolar process. So this is the alveoloplasty. This is my terms for today. I hope you enjoy it and uh, just track me for the other terms and you will get benefit definitely. Hope you a nice time and goodbye for now.